which I'm convinced of now because I was at the Popeyes uptown once, which is pretty close to downtown. And it's crowded. It's really crowded. And I'm waiting in line, and finally I'm next. The woman in front of me is ordering, and this is a woman. This is like a woman in her 60s. This is kind of a hoity-ish, hoity-toity-ish uptown woman. She's got some jewelry on and a black cocktail dress. And she orders $400 worth of chicken. <laughs> That's all the chicken! That's God! That's enough chicken to pick. And she orders all this chicken in one breath and it just rattles it. And the girl behind the counter hates life right now. She's just been ringing it up, her eyes half shut. And when she finishes, reflexively, the girl responds, Will that be for here or to go? <laughs> and had this. And there's no way, there's no way she could be with enough people to eat all that chicken. It's physically impossible. If this happened to you or me, you'd have blown it off. It would have been the stone to do this funniest thing ever later. But not this woman. She must right the wrong she has just been witness to. She tears into this. And he goes, well, I should certainly hope that's to go. That's enough food to feed an entire party full of people. Did you know that I'm having a party? I'm having a party. Did you know that this is the food for the party? Did you? I, I, I'm here alone. I'm alone. Did you think? Did you think that I'm just going to order four hundred dollars worth of chicken and then sit here by myself and eat all this chicken like it was Chicken Day or something? And this was a special occasion for me. And I was going to see my friends later, and everyone would say, "How was Chicken Day?" And I'm going to be like, "It was wonderful. I looked fabulous. Do you think that that's what I do with my day? Do you think that that's what's going on here? Do you think that's how I spend my time?" And without missing a beat, eyes still half shut, the girl behind the counter looks back and says the single most brilliant thing I've ever heard in my entire life. She says, bitch, I don't know your life. <laughs> You've all been excellent test subjects. I am Chris Montana. Give it up for your host, DJ Special Ed.